everybody, how you doing? This is Coffee Chug, and this is a video that's going to kind of walk you through how I built this bowling alley uh, for our LEGO EV3 Mindstorms Robotic Challenge. And so, um, before we get underway, this is just to show you a little beta robot that I was working on, but uh, this is a four-foot bowling alley. The things that you're going to need are you're going to need a tape measure, a way to mark your PVC, some PVC cutters, um, obviously you're going to need PVC, in this particular build, I use three quarter inch, and so you're going to need to make sure you have enough, depending on how many lanes that you want to build. In the case of one lane, you're going to need four 90 degree pieces, and you're also then going to need two T pieces. Now later, you're going to see how I put two lanes together, and so the bonus there would be that you would need one cross piece to make that happen. Uh, we're going to cut the PVC into, you're going to need two 15 inch pieces as you can see here. You're also going to need another um, two pieces of 16 inches. This is going to be kind of like where you start your robot to do the bowling. And then you're going to need your three foot PVC pieces for the actual bowling lane. And what you're going to see here in the next video are the corner pieces to kind of build the, the rectangle. And then the T pieces right there, which is going to allow you to tape down the line so the robot doesn't get caught on PVC. I also took some uh, poster board and I cut this out 16 by 16 that fits perfectly within the lane and so I just use two cutting mats to get my straight edge make it nice and straight on the poster board to get this 16 by 16 inch piece and then I created a template where you can easily put the bowling pins back to the same spot each time using my silhouette cameo uh, I have the files so check this video link for the blog post link and I'll give you the files of what I've used I got two files for the lane as well as um, where the robot starts. Now we will use, and as you go through and measure, in this particular case, I used 12 by 12 for where the bowling pins were going to be. So I have a two inch border all around. And I just used some spray adhesive to glue these together so there's no bulges, no marks. Um, you can see here I marked the corners. And then once you have that glued and laid down, the corners pressed, there you go, you've got the place. This allows, especially in the robotic camps or classrooms, the bowling pins are getting placed in the same spot every time. Speaking of bowling pins, here's what I use for the bowling pins. This comes from WRO, the World Robotic Olympiad I saw from several years ago. Requires just these four pieces, two little round two by twos, um, that beam is six, and then a little um, pulley mechanism. And as we go to Pull these together, you put one round piece up top, you're going to put one down below, and then you're going to have the pulley kind of at the bottom. This just kind of helps keep it balanced and kind of, in a very simplistic way, gives a bowling pin shape in which they look like this. This makes it easier for the robots that the kids build to knock it down using just the standard 2x2 two two Technic um, ball that comes in many kits. And you can see how that fits perfectly right in that arena, just like that. And so they can roll it, they can chuck it. Um, you can set up your pins each and every time so the kids can do it, so there's no cheating or anything like that. And you can see here, I just threw down some, some duct tape on this floor, but uh, painter's tape would work, masking tape would work, just to mark that foul line. And then they have that whole 16 by 16 inch space for the robot to fit in. And those are the parameters and the confines of the robot build. Uh, here you can see where I added another lane. So you can see that, that cross piece right there in the middle, and then um, I just cut another row, and that worked out pretty well. Now to smooth out the edges, I used some um, just craft paper. This is what I used when I would, would sell uh, posters, and I just rolled that out to get this, the same dimension as the PVC frame. And so um, what I ended up doing was rolling out two of those and laying that out so you could see that just like so. And then where that crossover was, I went through and I taped that down, and then I flip it over. And so where that tape is, that's actually going to be on the, on the back side. That's, that part's going to lay on the ground. And where that flap is, I just, once again, put some spray adhesive glue on there and then made that nice and smooth so there's no ripples or anything like that. The second thing I did was once I had the PVC back on top of the craft paper, I laid the tape down all the way across the file line. So what I can do is I can roll this craft paper up when I'm not doing this activity for storage. I don't have to recreate it every single time. Now, on your poster board, I had this extra piece of poster board left over, and so I just cut off the rest. You can see where it's orange or white, you'll see both lanes are the same thing. 
And so I have this piece of 16 inches um, by 12. It, it perfectly aligns. And this is the second piece that you will find in the files for the Silhouette Cameo. These are the dots that you would see when you're lined up to go bowling if you go bowling. And so these are here for the kids to be able to line the robot up with precision each and every time. The other thing I did was I measured out and I marked the center line for them to see. This also allows me for setup purposes to make sure that everything is centered. And so it's six inches on the piece where the dots are for the lane dots. Um, and then it's seven inches from the, the T piece to T piece um, for the bowling lane to get that measured. And you can see that right there. So now when I go to set up, I can make sure those lines are, are lined up each time. So I know that's always in the center. So we have the same consistent piece. Um, and there you have it with the two lanes. And it is time to go bowling. All right, going for the spare. Ooh, I don't think I'm lined up. There we go. Let's get it. Oh, so close.